In the semi-desert of northern Kenya, pastoralists take advantage of a spell of good weather. At this water point in the village of Torbi, herders come to feed their cattle, sheep, goats and camels and collect drinking water for themselves and their families. But scenes like this are not always common. With the coming of the dry season, the dust and heat of the savanna are joined by devastating water shortages that often spark conflict between herders. In Torby, a life-threatening drought led to a tragedy five years ago when over 60 people, including 22 children, died during a raid by a neighboring tribe. Herders say tensions increased so much that people were prepared to kill for water. There was rain on this side of the mountain and drought on our side, this man says. Because of the fighting between the two communities, we couldn't bring our animals here to graze. There were gunmen on both sides. Our animals were dying. The European Commission is providing 20 million euros to help communities cope better with the effects of drought. Among other aspects, it's hoped by improving access to water and pasture and encouraging communities to share these precious natural resources, fighting will decrease in the region. But across the border in southern Ethiopia, both conflict and drought remain constant concerns. In the small village of Dukali, herders carry guns and knives to the waterside. They say the weapons are for protection from a group seeking independence from Ethiopia, which uses the surrounding mountains to hide and carry out raids. Villagers say many men have been killed or abducted, and the lack of peace means there has been very little development. Poor development is a familiar story throughout the Horn of Africa. The European Commission says the work it carries out here is providing real help, but more needs to be done by governments to build on its progress. What the Disaster Risk Reduction Programme is doing is to implement programmes that should be used as examples by governments in the region and development agencies. This is uh, what this program is attaining, is trying to attain, to have governments take these projects, projects up, or take these solutions up and implement them at a bigger scale. For the camel herders of Torby, the threat of conflict has now passed. The real enemy is a drought that is feared to return soon.